Well, you know, it was a good game all along, but I, I was really proud of our guys. We've been a very resilient team, a team that will not give up. And and uh, even last night we saw it, we just didn't make it all the way back. But to, to come back from a game like last night, fall behind late again and come back and win, I thought that really showed something about the character of our team. I was very proud of them. chance to go out there and do something special in a regional. Uh, you know, it's win or go home, so, you know, got to lay it out there on the line. It's a different mindset. I mean, with us losing the first game, our backs have been against the wall, and there's really nowhere to go but forward. And and ever since the first game, we've played more relaxed with pitching and with hitting and, and defense. We've been a relaxed team and just kind of played with a chip on our shoulder. 254 for the year. Bouncing ball at third. Oh, nice backhanded stab. Sever turns, throws, throw a little high. Gamble Leaks comes down on the back for the out. Two down. Gavin runs the pitch right in there. Strike called. And Cole Ferguson double pumped. And by doing that, he had no chance to throw him out. Awaits. Here it comes. Breaking ball hit in the air. That's the deep right center field. Hewitt over, under it, makes the catch for the out. Tagging Griff Gordon, he will score. Tagging Petrangolo to third, and he's in there safely. And it is a two-to-one game. Zuberg comes set and deals. Breaking ball, skied in the air. Deep left center field, going back Evans. Going back, shy of the track, will make the catch for the out. Tagging Petrangolo, he will score to tie it at two apiece here. Any more Loera, they'll get the out at first base. Strike three called as he struck him out on the one-two fastball. First strike out of the day from Graham Officer. One down with second. A second look that way. Now we'll fire to the plate. High fly ball, straight away center field. Now Michael moving over toward right center. Under it, got it for the out. Gamecocks get out of trouble here. They get a leadoff triple to begin the fifth and can't score against Graham Officer. Tyler, an 0-2 pitch. Grounded at third. Lennington's got it on, went under his glove and into left field. Sebra around second. He'll dig to third. Gamble going to go in at second. It'll be a two-base error. Andy Lennington. The south side, the one-two pitch. Breaking ball, and he leaned into it. And let's see. He is, he is out, they say. He leaned into it. What did he call there? The home plate umpire made the call. And he says that Evans leaned into it, and I think it was going to be a strike, and he's called him out. He's running the pitch. Breaking ball outside. Throw to second. Not in time. Still in base. Michael Bishop. The 3-1 pitch. Teller hits it on the ground at second. Eddie in the hole. Field scoop that throws him out. Two down. 
Andrew leads away a third. The pitch, Golson reaches out, punches a little pop down the left field line. That could be trouble, and it's going to drop for a hit. And a run will score, and runners are at second and third. Golson out of the box was full speed, never stopped running, and ended up at second base. And that should go as an RBI flare double down the left field line. Evans couldn't get to it, the left fielder. A 3-2 pitch. That's a line shot toward left center field. Beezer on the run. will make the catch for the out. Tagging Gamble. He'll score from third. Golson went back to second to tag up. He'll slide in safely at third. But Stout winds in deal. Swing and miss. Strike three. Hello, championship day in the OVC 2014 tournament. They've come through the loser's bracket, have the Gamecocks. They've got to beat Tennessee Tech twice to win it. And they'll get a chance for the first time to do it here in about an hour and a half at 4 o'clock. The Gamecocks have eliminated the regular season champs and the number one seed, Red Hawks of Southeast Missouri State. It felt one of the best feelings I've had all year, but we're still not done yet. The tournament line shot toward left field on the run. Now he can't get there as Chobani, and he fell down and lost his glove. Bishop around first and will be at second easily with a leadoff double. For the game, Cox, one-two pitch to Griff. Line shot, that's a base hit, center field. Bishop going to get the green line around third. He hits the bag, and the throw to the plate will be cut off. One to nothing, Jacksonville State. 38 times to lead the team. Bouncing ball back through the middle. Andrews got it. He'll go to Eddie for one. The turn, throw to first. Double play, inning is over. It's seven for 11. Hit two homers and knocked in five runs against the game. Cox first go round. He bounces the 2-0 pitch into Ho. Andrew to the right, fields, throws, got him. It's from Shields, hit back through the middle, and somehow Shields got a glove on it, came up with it. it yesterday against Moorhead, the pitch here. Hit it third, Miles can't get it off his glove down the left field line. Michael around second, he'll hit it third, the ball kicks away. Jim K says go, then he's going to send him the throw to the plate. Not in time, two to nothing, Jacksonville State leads. RBI double. Come set, kicks and deals. Line shot, left center field. Nobody going to catch to that ball, it'll drop for a hit. Eddie around third, and it's bobbled out there. Griff will end up at second base. It's three to nothing. It'll be an RBI single on Griff, for Griff Gordon, and I think an arrow rolling in center field. The pitch on the way to the plate. Breaking ball, bounced at third, base hit left field. One run is in. Sebra going to be held at third. The runners now deals. Way outside, it got away. Bias the catcher, run scores. Down to second, Andrew Bishop, five to nothing. Jacksonville State. Hines kicks, and he deals it. Strike three called at the knees, outside corner, and he struck him out. And look at Taylor Shields. He shows some emotion. Guy leads away over there. The pitch. Uh-oh, ripped. High to Gamp, left center field. Goal sent over. Dives. And he caught it. Oh, he caught it. Came up with it. He'll fire it back in. And now they'll throw back to first. And what do you got? Double play. Oh, my. 2-2 pitch on the way to Gamble. Tapped it up the third base side. A run will score. Pitcher fields, turns, throws. Not in time. Infield hit. The 2-0 pitch, hot shot towards short. Andrew dives, comes up with it, jumps up, throws, got him. What a play. The Saturday, 1-2 pitch, bouncing ball toward third. It's in fair territory. McGuire fields and throws and got him. Nice play, Joe. have come on grounders to second, by the way, and here is Bishop. High fly ball, left field and deep. Get out of here, ball. It's up. It is gone. Home run, Michael Bishop. He got all of that one. A Gamecock faithful Channing, JSU here. Fastball, strike three, game over. He added nothing at two and struck him out. An 0-2 fastball on the outside corner. We will see you tomorrow here in a winner take all OVC championship tilt. You know that's the neat thing about it. I think it's it's uh, it's such a team thing, and and you know it's, it's fun when you're a part of a team. I've, I've been a part of some groups at times where there's individuals and stuff. It's so much better when it's a team thing. And and right now nobody cares how they do. They just want the team to win. And you can see stuff like that, like man on third, middle infield back. Gavin Golson basically just gives himself up and hits a ground ball to second base. I mean that's winning baseball. I mean that, that's how you win games like that. And uh, for for your nine hole hitter to be contributing in a way and just saying, hey, I want to do whatever I can for the team, it's fantastic. And we've had a lot of that going on. It's pretty unbelievable, to be quite honest. Um, I told some of the young guys, I put them aside, I said, hey, soak this in. 
I've been here four years, never experienced anything close to this. Well, um, as most people probably know, this is going to be the last time for the majority of us to play this game. And we get put in the loser's bracket the first day, and it's like, man, we got to win six in a row in four days to win this thing. And, I mean, I didn't – I knew we could do it. I didn't think we were. But now that we're here, there's no doubt in my mind, and I think every senior felt that way. And nobody just – nobody wants to stop playing. And it's – the leadership and the chemistry is un, unreal. Jacksonville State from Alabama Southern. Bouncing ball, tapped over the mound, fielded by Bishop from the center field grass. Guns him down at first. To 90-91 with a fastball. 2-2 two -two pitch, breaking ball. Strike three called. Two down. The payoff pitch, runners go. Strike three called inside corner at the knees. Another good game before the series was over. Reaches out, lines one toward third on a breaking ball, and Sebra dives and stabs it. The 1-1 one -one pitch on the way, a little pop toward second, and he's got it. Back to first, double play, they doubled him up. Hess winds, 1-0 pitch. High fly ball to left center field, rolling on the run. He won't catch up to that ball. It'll hit to the bottom of the wall and bounce around. It'll get away from him and roll back towards center field. Look at Michael run. And Jim Case is going to give him the green light. And the throw to the plate, and he is safe. And inside the park, home run. Michael Bishop has gotten the Gamecocks on the board. He hit a shot to left center field. He hit the wall and then kicked and rolled back toward right center field. He looks at second, kicks and fires. Fastball line, left center field, base hit. We got us a tie game. McGuire around first, how about that? The freshman off the bench, battled and battled and battled. Kicks, fires, breaking ball, reached out, punched it to right field, a base hit. Gamecocks lead it, Petrangelo around second, he'll head to third. Three to two, Jackson will stay on top. Here, 0-2 pitch, line shot, over the second baseman, Zarzar into right field, a base hit, a run is scored, several around second, he slides in safely at third. Gamecocks lead it four to two. The one, two, two out pitch, ground ball, shortstop, Andrews got it, fields, throws, yes, yes, yes! Jacksonville State has done it. Wednesday night, what seemed unimaginable, impossible, highly unlikely. Believe it. Jacksonville State is reality. Nobody in the history of this league has ever done it. Jacksonville State 4, Tennessee Tech 2. They have beaten and eliminated every other team in the tournament this season. It's a dog pile at the mound. Celebrate and enjoy it, Gamecock Nation. 4-2 the final. Jacksonville State comes from behind for the third time in the tournament and the 18th time this season to win. Wow, what a week in Jackson, Tennessee. Unbelievable.